Um, anyway, so just waffling on, waffling on, and see how it comes out. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just waffle on for about five minutes, I hope. Uh, just have a lot of movement on it, just to put it to the test, etc., etc. Get an idea of the graphics of it as well. I'm going to see if it will let me. It should do. New view. New craft. Landing gear. Again, let's put the landing gear down. How we fun on it? Uh, I'm going to switch to rear view and put these uh, speed brakes up. Shouldn't really do that in flight. Let's put the flaps fully down as well. Let's see what the uh, yeah. Slowing it down. Back to normal. Flaps back. I think this is going to come out quite a good sharp video, and as I said on various other videos I've done, uh, I'm really quite pleased at the moment with uh, Bandicam. It's, um, I think to buy it is about $39 or something. But if you've got a good use for it, I think that's great. I really do. Um, you know, and uh, of the ones I've tested, which is um, Bandicam, obviously, Action by Melewis something or other software, and uh, Fraps. Fraps was good, it was quite intuitive, but the file sizes were just huge, absolutely ridiculously huge. Quality was very good, but you know, I don't want to spend five hours uploading a 10 minute video. You know, five hours, uh, well, a 10 minute video would be about roughly, I don't know, 20 gig, something stupid. Uh, equivalent here, probably less than a gig. Uh, that's the, the beauty of it. And there is not, to my eyes anyway, there's not a significant difference in quality. I do want a high quality, and this is certainly good enough for me. Open another couple of windows. Top down. I'm after uh, next week. I'm after some advice on uh, good sort of add-on scenery that will make it a lot more interesting for me. And uh, you know, we'll start with scenery, and then we'll make sort of get airports and aircraft as well. But certainly scenery you can actually I'm told uh, some of it you know there's several around and um, some of it is quite old whereby again on the internet people have said oh that building was knocked down 10 years ago yeah it's still on this new add-on scenery I've got well mm, it's not the end of the world for me but I would like it fairly update up to date and uh, there's various names called horizons Rex um, Gen X, Orbix, GEX, and I'm just going to make a couple of phone calls next week and uh, get some advice from people who know more about it than I do, uh, with a view to um, getting some add-on scenery, and then uh, you know, muck about. I'm going to get a new microphone as well on Monday, uh, care of Amazon. Uh, I saw uh, looking through YouTube last night, and I saw this Yeti microphone, and it really, really, really looks and sounds great. Um, Obviously, I work in that sort of business, but uh, I don't think because it's only a USB mic, I don't think I can use it at any gigs or shows I record. But the actual quality of it, for what it offers for 78 quid, uh, it's going to be a really good um, mic for indoors, really, for uh, my home studio setup. And I'm really looking forward to getting it. And 78 quid at the moment ain't going to break the bank. Uh, so, looking forward to getting that, and I'll be putting out some more of these crap videos on uh, YouTube just to test things out really uh, when I get to know what I'm doing um, you know I'd like to put some out maybe get some subscribers I have got better over recent weeks I have to say I, I'm not on it every day uh, I'm just maybe on it you know a couple of hours a week but my, um, I, I would really like to learn much 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 more but I've kind of taught myself via YouTube 
I've kind of taught myself how to do reasonably accurate ILS landings and how to use the equipment. I don't know enough about it and I really do want to learn more. Uh, but my landings have certainly improved and my knowledge and understanding of the system uh, you know, has, has improved enormously. And uh, I hope it's just going to get better and better and certainly um, the microphone will aid my enjoyment of it anyway because I like putting these together, putting them out on YouTube. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it there. Uh, we've got to be up to almost, uh, where are we up to? Just over five and a half minutes now, according to the uh, um, box here, which you can't see. Uh, but it looks good. Oh, what have I done there? No, nothing. I'll just put it on pause, of course. Yeah, anyway, uh, let's sign off there. I'm going to just get it up to six minutes, which is another 13 seconds. And then we'll uh, call it down and see how big the file is. In actual fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to waffle on them for another four minutes because I do want to find out how big a 10 minute video is using Bandicam. Uh, 10 minutes on the trial version, which I have. You're only allowed 10 minutes and it cuts off. And I really want to see how big it is because it's going to be something like 20 odd gig in um, fraps. They're huge, lovely, lovely quality, but I don't need that quality, and there's not a great deal of difference to what I'm looking at now. You know, it's not a great deal of difference at all, but the difference, the main difference is the actual size of the end file is incredibly smaller. Um, so I'm going to waffle on for another 3 minutes and 19 seconds. Uh, let's see about speeding it up. Tell you what we're going to do. Try landing. Uh, this is a non-ILS landing, which should be interesting. I don't even know if that's an airport over there. <laughs> Let's try. We're going to slow down as we haven't got any. As we have, let's just cut that off. Right, I'm disabling everything. And I'm now going manual gear down, as you'll see down here. Maybe you won't. That's better, I missed that, never mind. It looks something over there. Cut the engines. 250 knots. over here. Uh, we've got another just under two minutes. I'm going to land this in a field. I don't think I'm going to be able to get over there. It's a few miles away. We're at 2,600 feet. I've turned the uh, crash sensor off so that I'll be we'll be able to land. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll be very uh, eloquently. I will be able to land in a field. Let's just bung it over here. I've got just over a minute left to go. Second, I'm just going to dump it down. So about this, passengers. Think ready. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm not going to crash it. Think ready. That's horrible. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Eight seconds to go. Thank you for watching. Three seconds to go. 
and let's see how much this 